judge formally rejects DOJ argument to keep Trump raid affidavit sealed. You know, I, I really didn't think this was going to happen. Um, I'm glad it did. I'm glad that uh, they're going to have to unseal it so that um, we can find out what this raid is all about. We all know this was a fishing expedition and they really don't have anything. So I can't wait to, um, to, read, to read the affidavit. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. as a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. You can also check me out on Twitter. Um, I'm very active on, on Twitter now. So um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. All right, let's talk about this news. Judge Bruce Reinhardt on Monday formally rejected the Justice Department's argument to keep the Trump, af the Trump raid affidavit sealed. The judge last Thursday ordered the DOJ um, uh, to unseal only a portion of a, um, a probable cause affidavit. Judge Reinhardt called the FBI's raid on Mar-a-Lago unprecedented. Quote, the government argues that even requiring it to redact portions of the affidavit that could not reveal agents, um, agent entities or investigative sources and methods impose an undue burden on its resources and sets a precedent that could be uh, um, disruptive and burdensome in future cases, Reinhardt wrote. Quote, I do not need to reach the question of whether, in some cases, these concerns could justify denying public access. They very well might. Judge Reinhardt gave the DOJ an opportunity to uh, propose redaction. The government has until Thursday, August 25th at noon, to file under seal a submission, quote, addressing possible redactions and providing any additional evidence or legal argument that the government believes relevant to the pending motion to unseal. Reinhardt said he will review the redactions and make changes if necessary. The judge also said the media outlet um, outlets who are parties to the lawsuit can appeal his ruling, Fox News reported. That's... Um, that, that that's that's I mean it's some big news. And Fox News reported Judge Bruce Reinhardt on Monday admitted the FBI's raid on former President Trump's uh, Mar-a-Lago home was unprecedented and formally rejected the Justice Department's um, argument to keep the affidavit leading to to the search unseal. Um, an affidavit leading to the search under seal. Sorry, citing the quote intense public and historical interest. I mean. They, they, you know, we knew the FBI was going to, um, the FBI and the DLJ was going to try to hide this stuff. Because they, again, this is the fishing expedition. They really don't have anything. They wanted to go in more Largo to see if they could find any, um, anything to, to, uh, um, to hit Trump with. And it's the same thing they were doing with the Russian collusion thing. They were just poking and trying to find stuff. The same thing with the phone call for Ukraine, um, the phone call he made with Ukraine, we know that whole stuff, everything that um, uh, Adam Schiff um, said was false. And he he had, he said this, and Adam Schiff said this stuff, and in it's in the congressional record now, the lies that he said, um, that um, he tried to say that Trump said to uh, Ukraine, then president. And it's just crazy. And this whole thing, again, it smells, it reeks of the same stuff they've been, they've been trying to do to him in the past. But quote, uh, particularly given the intense public uh, and historical interest in an unprecedented search of a former president's resident, the government has not yet shown that these administrative concerns are sufficient to justify sealing. I mean, because it's true, because you, I mean, if you're going to knock down the door of the former president of the United States, you should at least let the public know the reason and the rationale behind it. You shouldn't have that, you shouldn't have that um, um, sealed. But well, Reinhardt said he has given the Justice Department a, quote, opportunity um, to propose redaction, something he granted last week, giving the government a deadline of Thursday, August 25th at noon. Accordingly, it is hereby ordered that by the deadline, the government shall file under seal a submission addressing possible redactions and providing any additional evidence or legal argument that the government believes relevant to the pending motion to unseal the motion states. A major... Media outlets demanded the release of the probable cause affidavit behind the FBI's raid of Trump's Florida residence. A conservative watchdog, a watchdog, Judicial Watch, 
also demanded the release of the affidavit of Judicial Watch and, uh, uh, and Tom Fitton over there is is doing great work. I love Judicial Watch. If y'all are not following Judicial Watch on Twitter, I suggest y'all follow them on Twitter because they're, they're definitely um, holding government accountable. But um, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton issued the following statement in response to the Biden Justice Department's opposition to Judicial Watch's motion to unseal. They say, it seems like the Biden, um, that the Biden Justice Department is telling the court what to do. Respectfully, the court should make its own independent assessment of the compelling public interest and transparency about this abusive raid. The criminal investigation, the Biden administration is covering up reeks of corruption and dishonesty. I totally agree. And it's based on um, a reinvention of law about presidential, presidential records uh, that is at odds with the U.S. Constitution, court filings, federal statutes, and prior government legal positions and practice. No administration should be able to raid the home of a former president and putative president candidate uh, based on secret reasons. And that's what they're trying to do. They try to do all this. They say, oh, we got reasons, but we can't tell you what the reasons are because national security or whatever, you know, and, and everything else they try to use. But the U.S. Constitution and federal law give unreviewable authority to the president to take whatever records he wishes and the end of his at the end of his presidency. The Biden administration's dishonest depiction of personal records of President Trump it um, illicitly seized during the raid as classified is further demonstration that the raid was a brazen act of raw political abuse. I mean, he was the former president. When the president leave, they can take whatever they want. Every president take their records, take all types of stuff. You've never seen this happening before. Uh, government lawyers argue that keeping the affidavit under seal will protect witnesses and FBI agents involved. According to the investigative report of Paul Sperry, he's doing great work as well. Um, the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago in an effort to seize documents that likely implicate the FBI in a, its Spygate operation, which explains why the government is fiercely working to keep the affidavit sealed. And um, I did a whole video on that. That's what I, I um, what Paul Sperry was was saying, and I totally agree with Paul Sperry. Uh, that I think that they was trying they trying to get the materials that Trump had. They're trying to get the um, documents that Trump had on the whole Russia gate, the whole spy gate stuff, the fake Russia collusion. He has all that dirt. And I think he was going, he was probably going to start releasing some of that stuff. So they had to come grab it up, come snatch it up. That's what um, I believe happened, um, happened as well. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in the news. Until next time, peace.